An eight-month undercover operation led to an arrest of Tampa chiropractor Douglas Price this morning. Investigators saying he paid patients to come to his clinics in both South Tampa and Winter Haven and then filed bogus insurance claims. An Ohio doctor has been charged with 25 counts of murder, accused of deliberately prescribing overdoses of painkillers for patients who then died. He has pleaded not guilty, and tonight family members are now speaking out. Okay, in order to become a doctor, you need to take the Hippocratic Oath that basically says that you will do no harm. Well, the doctors on this list didn't exactly follow this oath to a T because they definitely inflicted a lot of harm. I'm not even sure why they were given a medical license in the first place because the things on this list we for sure are going to question. It's gonna shock you, it's gonna horrify you. Well, what's happening, you guys? I'm your host, Landon Do Not Sing, and I've been pretty tired lately. I just had a newborn and uh, she's keeping me up. <laughs> we just actually completed a first ever family photo shoot. If you guys want to go check that out, head over to my Instagram at Landon Productions. I'll put a link down below. Here's a quick picture of our baby. This is baby Olivia. She is holding a teddy bear. And here's another picture right here. She's holding her umbrella. I was telling her that it doesn't rain indoors, but she said, Dad, stop embarrassing me. So I left it. So if you guys want to check that out, head over to my Instagram, but for now, let's get into this list. This is the top 10 scary doctors that went too far. Exposing pregnant women to radioactive materials, and this brings us to number 10. After World War II, a lot of doctors were concerned about the idea of radioactivity and chemical warfare. So during an experiment done at Vanderbilt University, 829 pregnant women were given a vitamin drink, and they were told that it would help them improve the health of their babies. But in reality, the drink, well, it actually contained a radioactive active iron because I want to study how fast the radioisotope would cross over into the placenta. At least seven of the babies later died and they died from the cancer and the women experienced a ton of negative reactions such as anemia, hair loss, tooth decay, and cancer. I mean, what the heck? Number nine takes us to a doctor who is trying to save a few pennies. A man over in India was driving a school bus, but he swerved the bus to avoid hitting a herd of cattle. He managed to save all the kids on his bus, but his left leg needed to be amputated. So they rushed him to the hospital to have that surgically removed as soon as possible. While he was recovering, the doctor wanted to raise the head of the bed and instead of reaching for another pillow, well, he settled on using the amputated leg as a makeshift pillow. I guess no one was around to tell him that that's a, that's a pretty messed up thing to do if you're a normal human being. But can we just talk about this for a second? The doctor literally used his freshly amputated leg as a pillow. Is this real life right now? This has to be one of the most messed up things I've heard all day. I mean, where did he get his medical license from? Maybe the same place people are getting their driver's license from, the cereal box, Captain Crunch. Well, if he was this lazy to just grab another pillow, I mean, what corners is he cutting in the operating room? I don't even want to know the answer to that, so you know what, let's, let's move on. An insurance scam comes into this list next up at number eight. Dr. Yasser Awad was a pediatric neurologist in Detroit who falsely diagnosed 255 patients with epilepsy in order to make more money through insurance reimbursements. So basically, he put over 200 kids through unnecessary stress and drug treatments so that he can make a quick buck. This is how he makes his money. But that's not all. He also performed unnecessary surgeries where he would implant devices where he was supposed to control seizures. So I guess the moral of this story here is to always get a second opinion because some doctors out there are just plain savages. Moving on to number seven on this list, we have unnecessary surgeries. Dr. Aria Sabit was sentenced to 20 years in prison for performing unnecessary spinal surgeries on patients. They are calling this doctor a butcher because these patients didn't even need these risky spinal surgeries in the first place. Okay, so I've had two back surgeries and I know for a fact that they aren't fun, but unlike these poor people, I actually needed it. Or or actually, did I? Did I need it? <laughs> no, I, I, I think I did. Well, after their botched spinal surgery, they were left in a lot of pain because they would either insert unnecessary medical devices into their spine or would just cut into their spines for no apparent reason. The doctor pleaded guilty to conspiracy and fraud because he made a lot of money when he used these spinal devices into his patients. But even though he pleaded guilty, he still plans on appealing his sentencing because he thinks his sentence was excessive. You want to know what's excessive? Tricking people into getting spinal surgeries that they don't even need. That is excessive. Dr. Death is up next at number six. 
Over the course of just two years, Christopher Dunch, well, he operated on 38 patients and he left 31 of them paralyzed or seriously injured and two of them actually passed away. He had a bright future as a neurosurgeon, but he fell off the rails when he started to do a lot of drugs. Imagine your doctor is on drugs. They eventually stripped him of his medical license and about a year and a half after, he was arrested on five counts of aggravated assault and one count of injury to a child, elderly and disabled person. He was sentenced to life in prison and he will be eligible for parole in 2045. I think we should just forget about this guy in prison and just let him uh, finish up his life there. But maybe that's just me. A plastic surgeon with questionable morals brings us to number five. If you've ever had surgery, then you know how much anxiety and fear comes with it. Well, it doesn't help the fact that there are surgeons out there that do something like this. Take a look at this. A surgeon dances and plays around with an unconscious patient on the table. Well, now, the doctor's methods and her marketing videos are under fire. Okay, she called herself Dr. Booty, and she would record rap videos advertising her plastic surgery services, and she would post them onto the internet. I mean, it's pretty awkward if you ask me, and if anything, her rap videos would make me stay far away from her. But things get even more cringy when she started to use unconscious patients in her videos. I mean, that's a little bit too far. This is obviously illegal, and she had her medical license suspended for two and a half years, but uh, I don't know why it was just two and a half years. It should have just been suspended forever. On top of her terrible rap videos, which should be shut down, she butchered and disfigured a lot of her patients, and she even caused one of them to end up with permanent brain damage. A very twisted fertility doctor is up next at number four. Most fertility doctors are reputable and are, they're very good at their jobs. However, there are some of them who abuse their trust. Well, Dr. Cecil Jacobson reassured his patients that he would be using the sperm from their patients or from the, you know, from a, a non anonymous donor that they have carefully selected. Well, he actually used his own sperm to impregnate them during the artificial insemination procedure. When it was finally discovered, you know, what was going on, well, he was convicted in 1992 and it was determined that he was the biological father to 15 of his patient's children. But it's speculated that he could actually be the father to over 75 other kids. I mean, that is a lot of child support, but that is pretty messed up. An extremely botched plastic surgery brings us to number three. A patient named Raji Naransingh went to a black market pumping party where they would be given cheaper alternatives to cosmetic injections. It doesn't take a rocket science to know that this, well, this sounds super sketchy and highly illegal. Well, she went anyway, and what did her money get her? Well, the doctor injected used cement and tire sealant into her face. I mean, is this real life right now? Obviously these injections caused her severe pain, but they also started to burn and create hard areas all over her face. She even appeared on an episode of Botched where they try to fix her face, but there's always gonna be a risk that the infections are gonna come back. Because right now the infections is still in her bloodstream, so it's, it's still lingering in her body. And I watched that episode of Botched and it was pretty messed up. It was hard, it was hard to watch. One of America's first serial killers comes into this list at number two. We've talked about this guy, this doc many times. Dr. H.H. H. Holmes opened up his very own hotel with nothing but murder on his mind. His hotel was basically a torture chamber that was full of acid pits, trap doors, gas chambers, staircases to nowhere, and a human-sized stove. After torturing his victims, he would drop their bodies down the chute. He would dissect them, clean them, and sell their organs or skeletons to schools or the black market. I mean, what schools are paying for this. After decades of getting away with this, he was finally arrested and put behind bars. He admitted to killing at least 27 people, but his true victim count might be in the 200s. Topping this list at number one, we're talking about Unit 731. From the years 1937 to 1945, the Imperial Japanese Army developed a secret biological and chemical warfare research experiment called Unit 731. Men, women, children, even babies, even pregnant women and the elderly were all subjected to harsh experiments that included the removal of organs from a live body, amputation, being exposed to deadly viruses, and weapons testing. Some prisoners even had their stomachs surgically removed and their esophagus was reattached to their intestines. I mean, what the heck? What kind of vision is this? Thousands of humans were experimented on and killed at Unit 731, and I'm sure this is something we would all like to forget about ever happened. Well, there you guys have it. You made it to the end of this video. I just want to say, Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next Most Amazing Top 10 video.